So in this episode, we're going to explore methods a little bit and just build on our current functionality or either understanding of binding values to <clears throat> uh, HTML elements. Let's go ahead and make another div and an input field. Remove this type here. And uh, I just want to show you how this works with nested, uh, with nested objects. So let's make a login form and typical things you'd see in the login form a username we'll have it empty for now and password this will be empty as well uh, same as we do here let's just v model a username copy this and in here let's put password okay so you'll see this error and uh, this is because to access these two properties we actually need to call them first we have to specify the login form and then access that property from within the login object so now it recognizes it and the value will be changed let's go ahead and uh, look into methods so if you know in JavaScript, you might do something like uh, uh, var submit and then define a function and then do something in the function and uh, call it through an event. And here in view, what you want to do is you want to specify another property in your um, object that you're passing to the view and call it methods. And here you have a collection of methods that you can uh, use within uh, the scope of your app. So let's make a method. Let's call it submit form. And in here, all I want to do is console log submitting login form. And let's pass in our login form. All right. So this is going to error. And I just want to show you, I, I'm just going to make a big point about this. Try to sort of uh, make sure that you don't make an, uh, errors in the future and uh, you know why these errors are occurring. So let's go ahead into our console. Let's type in app and let's type in submit form. And let's make sure we call it as a function, right? And we call it and it says login form is not defined. Well, we can clearly see that the login form is here. So what's going on? To access this login form, if we create a login form here, and let's just say that it's a, a just set some text to it. And we can see that we, if we again sub, uh, use the submit, we can uh, access this local variable login form and uh, what I'm trying to get at is if uh, you don't specify this in front of your um, variable, it's basically going to look for the variable in the scope of the function, or rather a method. So anytime you want to access anything from within your app, you have to specify this. Now, a few bottlenecks that you might face here. Let's uh, call it again, so make sure it works. And then you see submitting login form, and here we have our observable with our information. So let's quickly actually add a button from which we can call this function. So we want to emit an event, which we learned how to do here. So I just want to call this submit, and every time we click on it, Let's call the function submit form. So let's type something in, submit, and there we see it with the username. Eh. Okay, so let's define a second function. Let's call it log. Let's pass in a value to it and just simple console log value. Okay. And from here, let's call this. So when we say this, we're accessing this app scope. And let's call the function and log something. 
let's press submit and there we're logging something so let's actually say logging something so we can see it a little more clearly in the console there we go so let's do the following let's um, define another actually let's call it call log for clarity and let's assign a function to it and from this function we want to call this log so after we define the function we want to call the function okay now this will fail and the error is this log is not a function so again it's crying about that it cannot find this function even though we are referencing this for the app so the problem here is that the current this inside the function belongs to the function so when you're referencing this inside a function you're referencing the function itself uh, there are a couple of ways to step around this and if you're going to be using promises in the future uh, when in the callbacks when you define the function like so you want to be aware that this will not correlate to the app scope but rather will uh, correlate to the function itself so what can you do to step around that you can define a self and assign a this to it and then call the self like that so there you see we're still logging it another thing if you don't want to define a variable here but you still want to keep the this you can do dot bind and you can bind the this that belongs to the app to the function so now again if we call submit we are calling this log and if you don't want to do the bind so if you really have no use for basically using the this that correlates to the function itself use an arrow function this is what they're made for but uh, be warned they are not well supported in all browser browsers so if you're looking for compatibility with all browsers you want to use the regular function and use one of the workarounds that I showed you. So let's see this works. And there we see that we are still logging this something with the list that belongs to the app scope. So remember, whenever you want to call something from the app, use this.